another Scratch tutorial in this video, I'm going to show you how to allow the user to type things. Let's get started. What you're going to want to do first is go ahead and delete the sprite. You do not need a sprite for this. You can have one if you want, but it is not necessary. Next, what you're going to want to do is make some variables and a list. Make the list, this is the most important part, and name it keys. This list's purpose will be to have a list of all the keys that you can press and so that the program can constantly check all of them. Next up, make two variables, one named text, which is just going to display the text, and then check number. Only check number is necessary. You can have text just as a variable and not have to show it, but in my demonstration, you can. I'm going to have it shown. So, time for the lengthiest part of this whole project. Go ahead and add all the keys that are pressable. So, space, all lowercase, and then A through Z. Time for a time lapse. I'll be back with you in a second. Okie doke, now that the letters are out of the way, it's time for the numbers. 0 through 9. Let's go. Okie doke, so that's that. Those are all of the keys that you can press. There should be 37 items on your list. And now it's time for the code. So, go ahead and add a when green flag clicked hat block. And also, some of you were, a lot of you are asking um, how to get the kitty cat and the pause button. That is scratch extensions, which is up here. You can't see it, but it's up here. It's Griff, one of Griff Patcher's tools, and you can get it. It's really awesome. I'll leave the link down below. This is not a sponsorship, by the way. So, underneath the green flag clicked block, go ahead and set the text variable to nothing by going over here, text, and then backspace. Then set check number to one, so it can start checking all of these. So, now add a forever loop, and then what you're going to want to add is an if, and then the key pressed, if item, check number of keys is pressed, which means if the check number is on like two and you pressed A, then that will trigger. But inside of that, you are going to want to add another if else block. And then inside of the top part, you're going to want to add if check number equals one. So if you pressed space. And what this is going to do, because space, you don't want it to say space, because that's not a real thing. You just want to um, have it do a space. So what we need to do is set text to join text with nothing. So that, what that's doing is it is doing what text is already, which at the beginning is nothing, and then it's joining itself with the key that you pressed. And in this case, we just need to translate it for it, or else it would add the word space. So you just press space. Okay, doke. And now you're going to want to wait until wait until not, and then copy and paste that over. And what that's doing is it's just so that because if you press it just once, it's just gonna spam it. And then you're going to want to copy this, and then go ahead and replace this with text, and then copy that over. Which instead of just space now, it's just whatever key you pressed. And then boom, that's good. Except for we need to go ahead and change check by one underneath that. Actually, you're going to want to add the check to under here, underneath both of those. Okay, but now if you were to run it, you see it's going to go crazy. And that's because we, it doesn't, it's just, it's not, it's just going to keep adding one. And we can't detect that number. What is that? 1,066,533. So we're going to need to add a repeat block around all of this. So that it's repeating all of these, and then it's restarting it. But you don't want to repeat 37 times, or else it would go one over and get stuck. So instead, you want to go 36 times, so that it, because it starts at one, then it changes it 36 times, which is 37, and then it sets it back to 1. And then under here, you're going to want to set 
check back to one. Right there. Okay, dope. Now it will be working. So if you press play, it'll just be jumping there. So I can just say, hello, and it'll work. And then if I press space, it moves up to space. And so I'm going to type something, and you can tell me in the comments what it says if you're smart enough to read it. Okie doke, thank you guys for watching. I've, I'm starting to have school now, so my schedule will probably be a bit off, but thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.